Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Napo H. Barista. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. This video is gonna be a roasting video, but before I get started with the roast, I could really go for a coffee right now. There's nothing like home roasted coffee. This coffee that I'm roasting is actually called Maui Mocha and it's a natural processed coffee which means the seed stays in the fruit for longer and it's dry that way and natural coffees tend to be a little bit more sweeter but this coffee is called mocha for a reason. Maui Mocha is known for its chocolate flavors. Maui Mocha as a single origin espresso is delicious. It's very unique. There's no other coffee like it. So I am very very happy to have this coffee here at home. Like I previously mentioned I like to let the coffee take me to its origin and who doesn't want to be in Hawaii right about now? Okay guys, everything is all set up. I'm ready to go ahead and start roasting this coffee. Power is up at 100% right now. We're gonna bring this up to a charge of 250. While the drum is heating up, let me just share a little information about this coffee. The coffee bean size is very, very small. Therefore, it's very easy to lose control of your roast. This is why I'm charging at 250 degrees, turning off the heat for the first minute or up until turning point, then turning on my heat, but only bringing it up to 80%. Depending on my ROR, which I'm not going to rely on fully because I kind of don't trust that the thermal couple of the hot top is reading the actual bean temp of these small beans and I'm not going to be leaning on that 100%. I'm going to be looking at the color, going by smell, and if I hear first crack go by that, I kind of pay more attention to the coffee than I am the actual software. This coffee is a natural process. It has a lot of sugar. There's a lot of sweetness in these small little beans. But because of that, it's actually easier to burn these coffees because that outer shell of the seed just takes on heat fast. It's like when you're searing meat and then you put a thin layer of oil on top and you throw it on a hot skillet, that top layer cooks fast. You start getting the grill lines, right? But the inside is still not cooked. Well, that's very likely to happen with these beans. And that's why I want to introduce heat very very slowly and take it from there okay environment temp just hit 250 I'm gonna go ahead and charge all right so the actual roast process just begun I'm really really excited about this coffee can't wait to try it last time we went to Maui we actually visited on Apali where Maui grown coffee farm is we sampled some coffees we visited the farm and the absolutely beautiful place so when I'm drinking this coffee I'm gonna think about that and if I can find some footage when we went to Maui I'll go ahead and share that with you guys we're now a minute and six seconds I'm already at turning point just about okay guys we're now three minutes into the road my beans are still green um haven't hit yellow yet again this is the first time roasting these beans so i burn them you guys have the uh privilege <laughs> to watch me burn them because i'm gonna post it whether i burn it or not i'm gonna post this video and again if any of you guys have experience roasting maui mocha if you have some tips for me uh i would gladly take any tips okay guys so if i look at my ror it seems like I'm on the right track. Yeah, my uh, Delta B temp is 20, and it's 
seems like by the time the roast hits 360, 365, which is my normal temperature for dropping the beans, especially when first trying a coffee, it seems like that's going to happen at around 11 minutes. So that's not too bad. That's right in the middle between 10 and 12. If that was to happen, I'll be very happy. Let me pay attention. Okay, it looks like yellowing is starting to happen and I could already smell wheat, like toasted bread, really nice. So far we're doing good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my fan at 50% to elongate the Maillard reaction. Dry in right around six minutes. Delta bean temp is still at 19, so it's at a constant. But again, I don't really wanna pay too much attention to numbers. I, I really just wanna uh, focus on the beans here and they look great. Now, it might be a little difficult to hear me now. I turn on the exhaust fan so that the smoke exits the kitchen through the window. So Delta bean temp is now at 20. We're seven minutes and 19 seconds into the roast. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fan up to 100 now. At eight minutes, I'm gonna back down my heat to about 70. I'm getting really nice color here, okay. I'm gonna remove the camera from the stand so that you get a closer look of these beans. We're now eight minutes, 37 seconds into the roast. Looking good so far. Okay, nine minutes and 15 seconds. I just adjusted my heat. I brought it down to 50%. Delta bean temp just jumped up to 24. That's a big step. Okay, I'm afraid. I don't wanna lose control of these beans. I'm gonna turn off my heat all the way off. Give me some real nice color here. I'm starting to hear crack. And I'm gonna drop these beans. Three, two, one. guys there's the data so far it looks good and it smells great okay guys let's review these beans to the right unroasted Maui Mocha natural to the left this is what I just roasted you may notice that some beans are uh, more developed than others. Those can be sorted out and separated. But for the most part, I think the roaster did a good job. This was a batch of 150 grams. A lot of work for 150 grams of coffee, but Maui Mocha is certainly worth it. Beautiful coffee. Okay guys, the roast is now done. And I'm gonna call it a success, uh, mainly because I didn't burn the beans. <laughs> it did get kind of scary at the end there when my ROR jumped from 18 to 24, but uh, I acted quickly. I'm learning, I'm learning more and more. And each time I roast, I learn something new. So this is the sample. Definitely there's some beans here that didn't develop as much as others. So the next time I roast is coffee, I might do a batch of 120. All right guys, this is the end of this video made it this far thank you so much you guys have been showing so much love in the comment section thank you just give me some time to get back to you and if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more hope to see you on the next one peace